Americans are wrong. Not just that spurious arguments about jobs are falsehoods, but that our whole world is endangered by the military agenda in the sense that we have a, an interest in the aggressive projection of power around the world. And the hopes and aspirations for a world of peace that the drawings on the wall over there sum up will never be served by that agenda. Now over the next few years, over the next few years, Scotland is going to be faced with some crucial questions about its own future. Should we become an independent country of our own or should we stay within the UK? There'll be, there'll be different views in this audience about that and both sides of that debate have a legitimate argument to make over the next few years. What we should all of us unite on is that whatever Scotland decides about its constitutional future, Scotland will be known around the world for a contribution to peace and justice rather than war. Those are the words of the covenant. Those are the words of the covenant that political leaders across the spectrum have signed up to. And that means that whatever choices Scotland makes about its own future, we will make no deals about the presence, the continued presence of nuclear weapons on the Clyde. We will make no deals about the continued presence of nuclear submarines on the Clyde. And we will listen to no arguments that say Scotland's economy or jobs in the west of Scotland depend on an investment in machines and weapons which threaten the very viability and security and safety of human life on earth. Whatever decisions we make as a country, let's be resolute that Scotland will be known for that agenda of peace and justice rather than for a contribution to war. Thank you all for being here. Thank you very much. He's been also very active on the international scene. Bill? Thanks very much, Isabel. Um, I'd like to thank Patrick as well for setting the scene there in terms of um, what the parliamentarians' uh, response is to nuclear weapons in Scotland. I think it's very important before I say anything else so to uh, say that we've all had a, a look at the fantastic paintings over here which have been done by children from primary schools across Glasgow which really show the, the intimate knowledge which young people have as to which is better, war or peace, and they've come out outstandingly on the side of peace and their imagination and uh, thought that's gone into those paintings really deserves all of our praise. I would like to say, however, that we're here today to remember that the Clyde has had a uh, presence on it of nuclear weapons for 50 years now. And that is something that we didn't ask for. It's something that we have never wanted. It's something that we have battled against and will continue to do so until we have seen the end of these weapons of mass murder on the city's uh, boundaries. Just 30 miles away from here are over 160 nuclear warheads, each of which could destroy millions of people. And if you remember the circumstances that took place at the end of the Second World War, we've got to remember that not everybody was in favour of these bombs being dropped. In fact, at General Eisenhower, as he was at the time, uh, a military man and a man who was actually involved in the conflict very deeply argued against the idea that these bombs should be dropped on innocent civilians, men, women and children, and see the end of lives because the Americans wanted to try out the latest nuclear adventure. Military men were against it as well because they said that no real military man is in favour of the indiscriminate destruction of human life in civilian terms. It's something that we should remember. There has been a long thread throughout the world against these weapons from all across the spectrum. We are here to make sure that we are going to see the end of these weapons. We are going to make sure that they are taken away and that the young people who have drawn these fantastic paintings over here never have to grow up in the same way as we have under the threat of the nuclear mushroom.
I'm not going to, thank you, I'm not going to speak much longer. The fact of the matter is, we've all shown by being here, and there are many, many, many more of us who are going to make sure that the campaign against nuclear weapons goes on until we've got rid of them. Here in Scotland is where we can make our biggest impact, but here in Scotland can be a symbol to the rest of the world that nuclear weapons are a danger to humanity and we have to see the end of them. Let's do our part, let's start it here today, thank you very much. Thank you Bill. And I think it gives us confidence to realise that there are so many young people coming up, growing up in Scotland, who are committed to peace and disarmament, not to militarism. Now, could I ask everybody just to come towards the stage? I, I just close in towards the stage as far as you can, and then we'll, we'll get folk made out. Ten thousand years of big ideas Distilled into a billion fears A grand design, a shiny rocket A bullet in a bully's pocket So mesmerised by particles We disregard the articles The ones we wrote to keep the peace Sullied now in blood and 